tore the place apart, but we had sold our last pound a few hours before that. They found drug ledgers, they found scales, they found empty baggies, they found a little bit of cash, but they didn't find any work. It was like a dirty diaper that just had shit stains, but no actual feces in it. We got lucky, but I felt the pressure. I knew that the heat was just going to keep turning up. I knew that we were under a microscope with the Portland cops. So I told him, we got to tighten up. I mean, if a client knows where our stash house is, that means we're getting okay. sloppy. So I thought this would be a good time to get the fuck out of town. I'd save some money, and I had always wanted to travel to South America. So I said, what better country than Colombia? It's kind of fitting, especially in the business that I'm in. And as I told you in a previous episode, one of my Sinaloan suppliers. In- All right. So what I want to speak about is this guy, Johnny Mitchell. Now, I'm not bashing him and I'm not supporting him. I'm just pointing out the fact that he's a new prison genre YouTuber and he's on the he's ascending. He's on the incline. Now, 16 to Life is an established prison YouTuber who genuinely gets good views, you know, but his views have been going down and he's having issues with monetization. His videos are being flagged yellow, which means uh limited to no ads because the content is not suitable for most advertisers so what he has to do is request a human review it takes seven days for the human review it, it, he said it the, it used to happen in 24 hours so what he does is he'll release he'll put he'll he'll pre make pre make all of his videos for the following next week and he'll put them as list them as private videos that way that way he can give himself a week with the human review to turn them from yellow to green, you know, so it's affecting his pockets. And he's basically saying that a lot of other established YouTubers are going through the same issue. And he thinks there's a conspiracy going on. And I'm wondering, did the prison genre get cracked open by the corporate elites? Are they understanding that prison genre generates a lot of income? And is Johnny Mitchell an agent? I don't know. Yo, damn. So check this out, y'all. Lately, I've been uh, noticing I've been having a lot of problems uploading my videos, right? And so initially, you know, I thought that I was tripping or whatever. And uh, But today, while watching another dude who makes what YouTube might consider um, prison content, I also heard him mention that he noticed there was something funny going on and... Uh, that basically, you know, YouTube was playing games. Now, out of respect for him and his channel, I don't want to necessarily mention his name in the event YouTube is not on to him and tripping with him. I don't want to uh, basically wake YouTube up to him, right? But so I've been noticing. Now, initially, when I started doing YouTube, right, I would record a video like I'm recording now on my phone. Then when I was when I was be, when I would be done recording the video, I would upload the video within no longer than ten to fifteen minutes the video would be ready and be monetized and ready for me to upload and get paid. Now, when, um, now when a video was monetized, basically what that means is YouTube, uh, sees that the video fits within their guidelines. And then they add commercials throughout the video, which meant that the video was not monetized. So now when we get a yellow, a yellow dollar sign, what we can do, we can remake the video or there's, um, a section that we can go to on YouTube and we can request a human review. So that basically is, yeah, like I said, that happens to me a lot. I could put up a video and title it 3,000 people stomped to death by a racist Nazi and it wouldn't get the yellow. It would get monetized. It would clear the, the, the automated censors. But if I put up Donald Trump calls Governor Youngkin, says his name sounds Chinese, it will make it yellow. So it's, it's really weird. It's an automated thing. And basically what he's saying is I used to be able to put up a video, record it, upload it, and it will be green. It will be fully monetized. But every time I upload a video, even though I'm following all the rules and following all the guidelines, it'll be yellow. And yellow means no ads, no monetization. So I have to request a human review, which used to take 24 hours. Now it's taking seven days, but I don't want to put the video out and garner views and not get monetized. So I have to have the video listed as private for a week. And then after they finally clear it with the human review, I can put it out, you know? So he's basically having, having, having to like increase his workload and the videos for next week, he's got to make them all the week before because it takes a week to get them cleared. 
with the human review. Now, Johnny Mitchell, on the other hand, he's obviously not having any issues with monetization. Like Luke said, man, he got 300,000 subs in the last 28 days. So I'm starting to, I'm, and like I said, this is not about Johnny Mitchell. I'm just saying maybe the algorithm has switched. Maybe the prison content genre, it was low key for so long. It's blowing up. So many channels are, were making good money and stuff like that, good, getting good views. And I think that Maybe they reset the algorithm to focus on a different set of individuals. Maybe YouTube has their favorites. Maybe Johnny Mitchell is uh, somebody that's connected to YouTube somehow, somebody that, that, that they prefer to send the monetization to, whereas the old school guys who were in the trenches are starting to lose monetization. They're going through issues with monetization, and they're, they're losing their views. So anytime you see somebody in the same genre picking up views and you see that the old school guys who were getting all the views at first are losing views, that's a sign that either the algorithm has been reversed and it's like a seesaw effect. And it's generally the prison genre community is generally made up of the same people. You understand what I'm saying? But Johnny Mitchell, where he stands out at is he has a lot of people from the mainstream YouTube audience who aren't really familiar with prison. They're very amateur when it comes to prison. Most prison genre fans are knowledgeable about prison because they've been watching prison content for so long. But Johnny Mitchell does have a very mainstream suburban audience that's not really familiar with prison. So I don't know what to say about that. I'm just pointing out that like 16 to life said, they're losing views. The old school YouTubers who talk about prison content are losing views, losing demonetization. And then you have a guy like Johnny Mitchell who came out of nowhere, who's actually uh, generating a positive, you know, he's doing good. And like I said, man, I don't know who he is. I can't say if his stories are fake or not. You know, at the end of the day, people could say my stories are fake, you know, um, I, but I'm not, I don't have any outlandish stories that would require extra belief. You know, I mean, a, a suspension of belief, you know, and, you know, yeah, man, if he had somebody to corroborate his story, like he said, he decided to, you know, the, the feds and the, the police, they, they, uh, they, they went to his house, they searched it, they found drug ledgers and all this stuff, but they didn't find drugs because he, he sold, a, sold the last pound an hour before they came. So he knew the heat was on. So he decided to go to South America to sell drugs down there. And, you know, I know for a fact that if you get on an airplane and you try to go to Columbia, especially if you're somebody like him who has a very uh, well-to-do family, they're going to tell you, they're going to warn you before you go, first of all, hey, this is a, you know, we can't guarantee your safety. The government there isn't able to guarantee your safety. Are you sure you want to go to Columbia? You know, there's a warning before you go to countries that are flagged. It's dangerous. But, yeah, man, it could be true. All I'm saying is there's definitely... The guys who were in the in the prison genre getting all the numbers at first are starting to experience a lot of issues with their content. And I'm noticing that, you know, Johnny Mitchell's picking up. Like I said, I'm not trying to say that trying to say that he's responsible for anything bad going on. I just think that maybe the algorithm has switched over, you know? Because sixteen to life, he has beautiful content, man, and um it's a shame that he's going through stuff like that. But um yeah, man, it, it's really something, man. I, I've been, I haven't seen Johnny Mitchell's videos. I've only seen the clips that Luke GTV put up, and it's it's kind of crazy. I mean, yeah, man, it, it's like, yeah, I think it's natural to question somebody, you know, who's telling you that they were selling drugs in South America. They're this white sub suburb, you know, white suburban guy selling drugs in South America. Uh, yeah, it's just, it, it, you would like to see some corroboration. You know, if somebody's going to have these 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 kind of claims, you would expect him to have something to corroborate that. And maybe he will put up something to corroborate that, you know. But all I know is it's just something funny going on right now. And I just can't put my finger on it because so many prison YouTubers behind the scenes, they're not putting it out there in the public because they don't want YouTube to find out. So all of these discussions are happening behind closed doors. These guys are losing money and losing views. Johnny Mitchell's picking it up. I don't know what that means. I don't even know if the two events are related, but I do think it's odd, you know? But yeah, man, peace.